So, happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? Happy Flossmas Day 3. So, I'm going to try something today. I have no idea if this is going to work. But I thought I'd give it a try. I haven't done a Stitch With Me video in ages. Ages and ages and ages. And I used to do them every Friday. Um, to go along with the Friday Off The Grid Facebook group where um, the sort of premise is that we join together in spirit on uh, Friday evenings, 6 p.m. our time zone, and we share pictures at the beginning of our stitching evening and then at the end of our progress. And I would record a video where I would stitch and chat and then uh, we would, we would join in together. So I realize that my stitching is sideways. So let me show it to you right side up. There we go. The best way I can get this camera to sit so that I can actually still see what I'm doing, because um, I've got my camera on a tripod and it's angled down. The way that I stitch, I have to have my glasses, I have to have the fabric quite close to my face. And so I think this might work, but it does mean that my project is going to have to be sideways. So let me know um, whether you like it or not, and we'll see if I can, I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure how I'd fix it, but um, anyway. So this is a piece by Modern Folk Embroidery. It's called Red Berries, and I am using uh, some Leo and Roxy Yarn Co. Floss in the Dark Sage and cheeky colorway. So I have already used one full skein of dark sage. And I love the variegation in this floss. It's really pretty. So I'm into I'm into the uh, second full skein now. But I thought it might be fun to add in a few of the missing berries while well, we had a little visit today. So I think my next one is right in there. So uh, as you can see, I am now stitching in hand, which is a big change from the last time I used to do Stitch With Me videos. And I am <laughs> really enjoying it. This is a 28 count Zweigart linen in the platinum colorway, I believe. That's my best guess. And this is the way that I have always started and ended my threads. So I sew, I sew my end in. Just make sure that's focused there. You can see I've sewn my end all the way in. And then I do what's called a Bargello tuck where I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to just go back through one of the last little legs of floss and then sew it through again and then my thread is anchored and secure and that is so that's what my back looks like. I do stop and start all of my berries, the red thread. I don't want to carry red thread across my back because especially on a lighter linen like that, you would see it through the front of the, of the design. So now my thread is anchored. I just have to bring it up where I'm going to start my stitch there. So, oops, you know what? I came in the I came up in the wrong spot. Let me just bring it back over there. Okay. So There we go. I can't see it particularly well. So this might not. Let me 
Let me just move the camera. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit. So just give me one second. Okay. Now, hopefully this will mean that I can have the stitching a little closer to my face while you are getting a pretty big close up of what I'm doing. I'm using the sewing method. I'm not bothering to railroad my stitches for these for these little berries. I could. What that means is when you railroad your stitch, basically before you put the needle back down, you poke it through the two strands of floss. Just make sure that's focused there. Poke it through the two strands of floss so that when you put it into the fabric, it then carries the remainder of the floss through the middle and creates a slightly, um, it, it, they do lie a little bit better on the fabric, but because these are just four, four little groups of stitches, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overly worry about it. So there, there, oops. I now have a finished berry. I'm gonna flip it around and sew it in. And I do do a bar jello tuck to end the floss as well. There. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop this video and I'm gonna rewatch it to make sure that enough of it was in focus and not completely out of focus. Otherwise, uh, there's not much point in that. You're gonna get a half an hour of out of focus stitching. So back in a moment. So I think the focus is generally okay. Um, I do notice that of course, sometimes my stitching is a little um, on an angle uh, because of the way that I'm stitching and how you're seeing it on the camera. So I will try a little harder to hold the fabric um, flat this way so that you can see what I'm doing. We'll, we'll give that a go. Anyways, uh, so next berry that's missing needs to go in right in there. So I probably, I could have uh, backtracked and, you know, sewn my floss in if I was thinking, but I, I wasn't. Anyway, so let's see. Is that, I think we're, we're flat enough there. There we go. Can you hear the people downstairs? I get a good, uh, I can hear them quite well up through the cold air return. Some days more than others. Sometimes I can hear their customers downstairs saying nice things about their, <laughs> their store, which is always really nice. One of their main little showrooms is the room that's directly below me. So that's the room that, uh, that I can hear people talking in. So it's kind of nice. Um, normally during the day, uh, when I'm working, I have my, my headphones on and I'm listening to an audiobook or a podcast or floss tube. And so I don't, uh, I don't normally, it doesn't bother me that, that I can hear them a little bit, but I'm just thinking while I'm recording here, you might wonder what that noise is. Okay. This is tricky. You should see how close I am to the fabric, which is putting me super close to the camera. So I'm trying to keep my voice a little quieter. 
um, so that it's not too loud. I will edit the, the volume down a little bit anyways, but sometimes it's nicer to have a better starting, starting point. wanted to stitch this chart for so long. I'm sure you know by now I am a big fan of Jacob's designs. This one's been on my, my radar to stitch for a very long time, so uh, it would be, be great if I could finish it in the next couple of weeks. But there is still quite a substantial border, secondary border, around uh, the outside here. So, you know, and I, 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 I don't really have a lot of time and I want to finish penguins and my sock and all that good stuff. So, oh, speaking of my sock, I got to show you, I finished uh, two and a half stripes on it. Let me go grab my sock so I can show you. See? Look, there we go. I finished the purple stripe that I was working on yesterday and I'm halfway through the pink stripe. So look at that, you guys. I might actually end up with a sock, a pair. These are my Smarty socks. This is Timber Yarns. Um, it, was, uh, it was last year's Christmas yarn and it is a self-striping sock yarn, 80% merino, 20% nylon. And it is so fun. I love sock knitting. So it's been really nice to, uh, to be able to do a little bit of that again. So this weekend I plan to get to the heel and beyond. So that'll be fun. Okay. Let's put, where's the, uh, okay. So the next one that we need to put in, is going to go right in there. So we'll find Just, I do love her snoring. Dog snoring is much cuter than people snoring. Refocused. There we go. So it is Friday. I have, um, I still have a fair bit of sewing to get through today before home time, but I thought a stitch with me video would be a nice way to have my coffee break time and stitching time, a bit of a break, record it, and then I can upload this so we can have a visit together tonight on a Friday night, kind of like old times. I should see if I can dig up the old Friday off the grid music that I used to use on those, on those old Stitch With Me videos. It was an Apple, Apple um, iMovie preset called Park Bench, I think was the, the name of the tune. Oh, it's so pretty. Just four stitches and it just adds so much. There we go. Okay. Now, where are we going next? Let's 
see. I think. Yep. Right in there. Trying to maneuver around the tripod. There. So, do you have plans this weekend for some Christmas decorating or shopping or visiting with family? other holiday preparations, whatever holiday you're celebrating in the month of December. John found us a teeny, teeny, tiny little potted Christmas tree at, where did he get it from? I think he got it at Home Depot a couple, maybe 10 days ago. Um, and we've had that set up in our kitchen. Uh, many of you will have heard me speak of my father-in-law before. And what I haven't told you is that uh, he has he has recently, just a few days ago, um, traveled uh, to Italy with my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law had come to Canada a few weeks back and... Um, the reason she came to Canada was for a, a quick visit, but also to in order to uh, to travel back with my father-in-law. And he's going to be staying with them in Italy for, well, for for a while. Um, I think the plan is to, to you know, he, he can only be out of the country for, for so long before, of course, I think it's six months. And then, you know, you have problems with, with your OHIP. Um, healthcare coverage so of course um, we have to be wary of that but um, he hadn't seen her in about two years or her family so it was a very nice reunion it was nice to see my sister-in-law again and uh, so it's uh, it's back down to just the four of us at evening evening weekly dinners I know each one that I finish, I'm like, ooh, look at that. It's so cute. I want to admire each and every one. Okay, and it makes sense. There's one more just at the top of here. So let's do one more, and then I think I'll probably have to sign off for today. Oh, and I should have just kept my thread in there and just sewn it up the, up the line there, but I didn't. No worries easy to start and stop your thread. There we go. Yes, maneuvering around the tripod leg is probably the trickiest part about this setup. There. funny I usually am pretty careful to not hold the fabric on the front of it but it's a lot of things to remember when I'm it's been so long since I've done one of these stitch with me videos it's funny so I am glad those of you who watched yesterday's Blossmas um, a few of you mentioned that you really liked the close-up of the uh, Leo and Roxy different uh, shades of black floss that we have and you thought it was you thought it was neat to see the, the differences close up and suggested that perhaps I could do the same for the reds or the blues or 
what um you know the the other flosses and of course i would i would love to do that so next week i'll uh i'll probably start with the blues um like anything else in this world nowadays um with supply supply lines and um things being difficult to get uh the red flosses that we carry are few of them have been out of stock for a while, like Vixen and uh, Merlot, I think is also. If Merlot isn't out of stock, I think I only have a couple of skeins left. Bright Merlot as well. Um, it's just, uh, it's been a bit tricky to get more. So I can show you the reds that I have that we're able to do, like Cheeky and Lucille and Falu Red, um, and maybe a couple of the more uh, orangey red shades like Anne and Annie. They're not really reds. But anyway, I'm ha I would love to do that and be fun. So I'll do that. I'll do a little bit of that next week. Um, let's just clip this off here. There we go. So that's a little bit of all right, isn't it? Not bad for little bit of a coffee break. Look at that, it's so pretty. So cute. So of course, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up. <laughs> I'll finish up this little border here. And then I, my, I do want to finish up all the vines and the berries on the inside before I tackle the outer border. So it'll feel like a little mini finish on the inside. So, ta-da! There you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this was really fun to do, actually. So if you did enjoy it, <laughs> I don't know that I have ever said this in any of my videos. If you did like it, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for alerts. <laughs> what is it people say? I don't even, I don't even know the, the, um, the patter for it. But anyways, if you enjoyed the Stitch With Me video and you want me to do another one I would be happy to because this was this was really fun it feel it really has felt like old times so anyways I better I better go um it is the weekend I will probably I'm gonna try to do a couple of short videos this weekend they probably will be quite short because I'll, again I don't know how our internet is going to be at home so if you don't hear from me this weekend it means that I was not able to uh, finagle the internet to work properly but what I'll do is anything that I record I will tuck it into Monday's video and have a day four five and six sort of compilation video on Monday which might be kind of fun so I may add a little bit more to this video for today I yeah I think I will actually I have a little giveaway to do and I was hoping to do that today. So later on this afternoon, I will come back and record a little bit more. I received, oh my goodness, it was ages ago. I received some charts in the mail from a uh, viewer and friend, Judy, who sent me, cause look, I've got one of them here. She sent me three charts in the mail and they were uh, ones that she actually had purchased duplicates of. And so she sent them to me so that I could give them away to you. There are three charts. This is one of them, but actually, believe it or not, Judy, um, Hannah has purloined this one. She saw this and she said, oh, I love that. And I said, well, I don't think Judy would mind. Um, Hannah works with me here at Evertote and she's a brand new stitcher. So the very fact that she saw this and she was uh, very taken with it, I thought let's encourage Hannah stitching a little bit. So um, this one is going to Hannah, but I have two more charts. Uh, that I'd like to give away today. Uh, this will be a, you know what? It is Friday off the grid today. This is going to be a Facebook giveaway. So um, I'll be back. It'll only be a few seconds for you, but it'll probably be a few hours for me. And I'll tell you more about that giveaway. So I guess I'll see you in a few minutes. Here I am. I've started editing the sound on the the uh, Stitch With Me video, so hopefully it's okay. Um, so, giveaway. Giveaway time. 
Judy sent me the cutest card. Isn't that sweet? I love that. So cute. Okay, I have two charts from Judy to give away. And again, Judy, thank you so much for sending the purple cow chart as well. Um, Hannah is quite excited to stitch it. So you can find it on the Facebook group called Friday Off The Grid. And I'll put up two posts, one for each chart, and just leave me a comment there. And um, I will pull a winner, I'll, I'll draw a winner on the Facebook group next Friday. So the draw will be open for a whole week. Um, normally I do it because Monday giveaway on the Facebook group, but today, because it's Friday and it's Friday off the grid, let's do it over there. So first up, um, one of the charts that Judy sent me is called the, it's, um, Saltwater Scrapbook Part 1. Those of you who are fans of the Blue Flower and Lindy Stitches will know this one well. This is Part 1, so this is the Blue Flower part of that collaboration. Um, yeah, Saltwater Scrapbook Part 2. Uh, that's Lindy Stitches part of the collaboration. And so this is, this one is the Janine McGowan's. Uh, the six of them, aren't they? Four, excuse me, four, four charts from Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. And hopefully you can see that okay. There's a little bit of a glare there. Um, when you put it together with uh, Steph, Lindy Stitches chart, there's the, that's the entire thing. So this is Janine's part, these four charts this octopus is so cute. Octopus, chipmunks, it's just so cute. So this is chart one. Again, over on the Facebook group. Chart two, heartstring samplery. I wish you lived next door. I love this chart. It is, it's, yeah, it's so cute. See the picture on the back? Good neighbors, man. Good to have good neighbors. So I do wish that you guys lived next door. We'd have fun, wouldn't we? So Heartstring Samplery, I wish you lived next door. This is chart number two of the Friday Off The Grid Stitch With Me Spectacular Extravaganza. <laughs> Can't believe I did another one. I should go in and find out how long it's been. I think it's been, it's been at least a year and a half, maybe even two years since I did a Stitch With Me video. Now I'm, now I gotta go find out. Okay, so I think that is it for me today. My coffee is, believe it or not, my coffee is still hot this morning, this afternoon, it's not morning anymore. Mm. And I have some more sewing to do before the weekend so I will say goodbye um, I feel like I'm forgetting something I didn't I didn't put any thread into my Ruskin's penguins last night so I have no progress to share there I keep forgetting to bring in my Frederica by carriage carriage hill samplings carriage house samplings carriage hills carriage house samplings I think you know what I which one I mean the birds there's Frederick and Frederica and I I have complete almost fully completed the bottom border it's very stitch heavy I'm using the call for DMC floss I, I must bring it in to show you because I just I absolutely love it it's such a fun piece to work on um, the other thing that I've been putting a few stitches in lately is my other landmark tapestries and charts that I'm um, <laughs> always working on a little bit here and there which is the uh oh goodness which one is it I think it's Oz I always get the names mixed up because I don't tend to look at the cover photo very often and I've stitched several of them and um I, I don't tend to remember the names however I have a nice chunk of the bottom left hand corner done um uh, it's as as always with those landmark charts they're they're comfort stitching so I, uh, I'll try to, I'll try to take some video of it while I'm at home this weekend and then I don't need to bring it in. I'll film it at home. That's a good idea, Caroline, using your noodle. All right. That's it for me today. Happy Flossmas day three. 
I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe and I hope that you have some stitching, some crafting, any kind of crafting that floats your boat to enjoy this evening. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow and Sunday. If not, I'll see you on Monday. So until then, take care. Happy stitching, everybody. Have a great weekend.